Welcome back. We're going to finish this fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what were you saying before? I was just finished talking about the oh, Nitro okay. screw job. That was it. I was hoping that you were finished. So. Yeah. That's, that was the end of that tale. I'm there, not sure how I did that reversal, but that was pretty cool. I was uh, smashing buttons. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, we want to go this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I think that was a hearse. It was a limo. God, this game is so fucking violent in the yeah. best way. There's no blood though. That's like one of the weird. Like, <laughs> Wait, we gotta get on this. To this. No, 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 no. That's for me and me only. <laughs> Come here. No, I'm gonna stay yes. up here. <laughs> no. I don't know what fucking purpose this serves. I just chase people around with it. I guess. <laughs> what did I just do? Yes. Paul Bearer is gonna win this one, folks. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. I've been kicking your ass this whole fight. That's because I've fucking not even been trying, yo. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, no, get out. Get out of here. Uh, fuck. Get out of here with that yeah, shit. Yeah, man, fuck you. You're about to get the big splash. Shit. And I think I would just want to say it's... Yeah, shit. Oh, fuck. You're done. No! You're done! No! You're done! Oh! I was hitting every button, what the fuck? <laughs> Tyler wins. You are done. That made no fuck sense. I was, like, Cold kicking 18. your ass the whole time, and then just, like... That's because I was just way too into, you know, talking to the fans. Ta <laughs> talking, to, talking to our peeps. Our peeps? Our little bow peeps? Coming from your stun gun? Beware. <laughs> Let's do another fight. Al Snow, he's a cool guy. Let's make it quick. Yep. I like I like Kane. Be Kane. I always thought he was cool. Kane's still around, you know. Yeah, he told me that. He's like still kicking. For the he's he's had his highs and his lows. Like he had a really good he had a really really good year uh, this past last year. Yeah. He was like in one of the fucking greatest tag teams they've had in a long ass time. Yeah. He had a cool story and everything. He had he got his mask back on. Who's the who is the fucking tall dude? Which, which one? He was really he's like almost seven foot, I think. A lot of them pretty much are seven feet. Oh, really? Kane is almost that Kane might they build he's built a seven foot. I don't know if he's actually seven foot. The guy who actually is that I know for a fact is seven foot. I am pretty sure he's in this game, the tall dude. Uh I don't know if the big show's in this look. game. The big show? That's yeah. his name. I don't know if Big Show I let me, let he me just be. say let me just say, as we're choosing our We're gonna do a hardcore match. Do you wanna do a tag? Oh do you, Oh yeah, let's do a tag team match. Let's Fight some computers? People. Yeah. Let me just say, we'll do. I don't know the difference. But. Normal tag is. I have to tag you in if you want to come in. Yeah. Do you want to do so? Let's just one pick... one p two p. Or right, what? What do you want to do? Let's do it so we can pick two people and fight each other that way. Okay. That'll be fun. But uh, I'm really glad I'm playing with someone that knows what the fuck they're talking oh, about. Yeah. Cause I'd just be like, people. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Let me see who's up on you. Uh. Yeah, I don't see the big show on here. He might not have been in this game. I don't know why he wouldn't have been. I know he was in the original SmackDown. Uh. Maybe he was out with like an injury or something. Scotty Too Hotty. Or maybe we just haven't unlocked him yet. He looks like an Ali G character. Who's Scotty Too Hotty? Yeah. He's cool. They were, uh. His, his team, Too Cool, was like around for a few years. They didn't last that long. It was just like during the breadth of the the, the Attitude Era. Uh, I'm gonna be fucking, let's see. I'm super indecisive. Dude, fuck you, you just picked Kane and Mankind. Yep. <laughs> you I'll better be... believe I did. So wait, Big Show wasn't popular then? No, he was. I don't know why he's not in the game. Maybe he didn't unlock him? Yeah, he's probably, we probably just haven't unlocked him if he's in the game. 
I'll be edge and Christian. And like we said, we are sorely disappointed that um that fucking <sighs> I'm blanking out on his name right now. It's gonna be really embarrassing that I'm forgetting his name right now. Who? Fucking Amwar! <laughs> Oh, Macho Man? Yeah. Randy Savage? Yeah. Oh, well, he was he wasn't in, in wrestling, and they didn't have like older guys in the games then. Yeah. The newer games have older guys, and I'm like, uh, Randy Savage is in the most recent WWE game that came out. But yeah, uh, another wrestling game that... <laughs> no, I want to watch this. These guys are fucking awesome. They're my childhood heroes. They look like two wild and crazy guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're both not really around anymore. They tried to last long. Uh, Edge would still be around if he, like, uh, something happened. I think it was with his arm, and the doctor told him that if he kept wrestling, he was going to be paralyzed entirely. Jesus. Yeah, so he had to retire. It was sad, because he was at, like, he was at the height of his career. He was fucking, he's one of the best heels, like one of the best bad guys that's been in the business in a long fucking time. Mm-hmm. He's a damn good wrestler too. I think by the time he left, he was like maybe an eight or nine time world champion. He was like one of the huge guys from around 2006 till he had to leave in 2000. 11 or 2012. Hmm. There were a few other times, or there may be two times when he was out for injuries during that time. <laughs> I started using the analog because I was thinking of uh, of Def Jam. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the, the controls are okay in this, but Def Jam has some really nice controls. The newer, the newer games... I, I don't want to say they control better. I mean, I guess maybe that I feel like they do because I'm used to them. They're too fucking complicated and like really convoluted. I wish they were more simple like this. And really, they needed another control scheme like No Mercy, which I want us to play No Mercy for the N64. We don't have it though. We need to get it. I haven't played it in such a long time. Wait, when he knocks him down, it sounds like bowling pins. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? This is just the best they could do. God, you're kicking my ass. Fuck you, Kane. Cause, yeah, because I'm fucking game. <laughs> That's yeah. like choosing Snoop Dogg and Jeff Jam. <laughs> oh yeah. But uh Kane's thing now, it's so fucking stupid. Like not even he's, he had his mask back on for maybe a year and then he took it Wait, off. Wait, he took it off? Yeah, he had it what off for fuck? a long ass time. That's like one of his staples though. Uh 2004 he he lost it in the match against Triple H and uh he was tag team with Rob Van Dam at the time. And like they made like this whole dramatic thing and they had him like wear all this fucking makeup so like his face had been like burned and all scorched and what the fuck ever. Yeah man, Kane's a cool guy. His real name is Glenn Jacobs. Uh, he was, oh it was actually really funny, he was recently on a, he was supposed to do an interview on a radio show and they brought up the fact that before he was Kane he was like this really terrible dentist character. Oh God! Called, really? Uh, Doctor Isaac Yankum, <laughs> and they're all like, uh, "That sounds like a southern like." Yeah, and and the radio host guy was all like, "Yeah, we got uh, Kane from the WWE, uh, otherwise known as Doctor Isaac Yankum." Oh, and God. Kane was just like, uh, "You know what? Uh, I think we're just gonna have to do this at another time, guy." <laughs> and then he's fucking hung up. Oh my God! Yeah, he's that embarrassed of it. I guess, but it, I don't think it's necessarily so much as that as like. The WWE's fucking, they're, they're really strict, like, on their PR stuff. Oh, and, yeah, I like, would imagine. Cause they make like, the rest. They probably have to sign, like, these, like, fucking. Nope, they don't contracts. sign anything. They just, it's. They it, just. It's backstage politics. That's all it is. Oh, it's really? such a fucking political business. I don't know why. It's terrible. The guys running it, they. You would think they'd know what they're doing, but they don't. Vince McMahon. It's like hit or miss. He's kind of a dumbass when it comes to recognizing talent when it's right in front of him. Like, the age of guys like Hulk Hogan is over. 
and they just don't see that. They think they can keep on creating these guys, and they can't. Yeah. Like, all these smaller guys. Like, right now, their biggest wrestler, and the, the, the most fucking popular wrestler around right now is Daniel Bryan. And... Uh... Fuck. What am I doing? <laughs> uh... Like, it's, it's, it's a huge problem for the WWE right now, because... Any, like, they're, 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 they, they had two world titles for the longest time. Now they just have, they, they united them recently. And they put it on one of the company's biggest tools they could possibly give yeah. it to. They set up their WrestleMania match to be against two guys literally no one wants to see. So, for the past few weeks, anytime they get these two out, at any point, the entire audience is chanting for Daniel Bryan to come out, or they're doing his. Which this is this is how big he is for the longest time. That everyone st was still doing Stone Cold's what? What? <laughs> they don't do that anymore. Now they do Daniel Bryan's yes. It's just the yes chant. Everyone chants yes, and that's breached out of wrestling. Like like it's moved into football, and I think I think maybe it was there was a yes chant that broke out at the Olympics. But I'm not sure. My God, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, he's like he's fucking huge right now, and the WWE hasn't given him shit. The last time he held the title was last year at SummerSlam, and he lost it, and he's just been treated like shit ever since. I don't know why he's still with him. It's dumb. It's why I have a hard time watching it because I see all like these fucking awesome people who are treated like shit there. Uh, where? Fuck. Fuck.